Here we go, here we go. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe button. Like, subscribe button. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Here we have another crazy story, another crazy story. I remember a few years ago, a few years ago, I saw this interview. I saw this interview. And I was thinking, this guy is crazy. This guy is crazy right here. But, I'm, I mean, I don't know. He might still be crazy. He might still be crazy. But, the things that he was talking about in this interview, I thought it was very interesting. Very, very interesting. I'm going to let you hear a little about what he was saying. Let you know and let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. I don't have it, but I can make it available. Yeah, he's from a, um, um, some country in Africa. But basically, he's saying, he's basically was saying, he was basically exposing P. Diddy. This interview is from 2018, from 2018. A lot of individuals thought he was crazy, but a lot of things he was saying, believe it or not. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. I don't know. Under secrecy. That means that I wouldn't be liable because I don't want to be getting brain for anything. Okay. Right. Um, I had sex with Cass and Sean. Wow. Basically, he would, uh, he would masturbate and tell me what to do with Cassie. I had like 15 encounters and I heard a lot of business because what they would do is Sean talks a lot on the, on the phone and on the TV. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. So basically, this man right here, this man right here, he's saying he basically had an encounter with Cassie and P. Diddy. He had an encounter. I mean... I'm not sure how true it is. I'm not sure how true it is. But this is what he was saying back in 2018. And a lot of things he was saying, believe it or not, Cassie said the same thing. Think about it. Think about that. It's, it's pretty scary. It's a scary thing. It's a scary thing. He was speaking and stuff, and I was, being the, I was like a sex slave, okay? For them, that's what I was. That's all, all right? Um, I caught therapies. And I came back and I sued him for the reason and won. But they didn't did Mark Edwards and Ben Mercedes were his attorneys, okay? Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm gonna have to look it up, I'm gonna have to look it up, I'm gonna have to look it up. But don't forget, anyone could say anything they wanna say. Imagine that. Imagine saying anything you wanna say and expect someone to believe you. Unbelievable. I don't know, that's what he's saying. And Christopher Neons here was my attorney. They asked me to turn in that, which was the video recording, and I did so. They gave him back to me accidentally, and it's possible, I, I threw everything out, it's possible I can produce a copy. Yeah, sure. It's possible, I'm not sure. Now, um, how does this lead towards Donald Trump? Okay. The Mercedes family. Uh -huh. Ben Mercedes, uh -huh. that works with Mark Garibas. Mark Garibas is good. Basically, this guy right here is going to keep on going, going to keep on going, keep on going. Some lawyers, some individuals saying that P. Diddy might never come out of jail. Think about that. He might be trapped behind the bars for the rest of his natural life. That's crazy. To go from the big old mansions, a few of them, from the private planes, a few of them, the private um, yachts, probably a few of them. I mean, yachts, you know what I mean. That's crazy. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's crazy. I guess Pete Diddy's probably going to be able to tell all the stories, you know, how he lived his life when he was once free, I guess, I guess, I don't know. How many individuals in there is going to be able to talk about their private planes and their yachts and their mansions? Not many, not many. So basically, P. Diddy, he's in a unique position right now. I guess he's always been in a, in a unique position his whole life. But this uniqueness is a little different. It's a little different. A little different. But you know what? Anything's possible. Let's see what happens in the future. But I tell you this right here, they say it's not looking good for him. They say it's not looking good for him at all. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine me one of the richest person behind the bars. That's crazy. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine committing crimes. Imagine committing crimes. 
Unbelievable. The next time they said crime no pay. I don't know. I don't know. That's what I heard him say. Unbelievable.